Oh, why? Hello, my pretties, and welcome to day three of Crochet Tober 2021. It's a pleasure to have you here today during spooky season. I thank you all for stopping by. Okay, so grab your warm, spooky beverage and join me, won't you? For a little creepy talk. Okay. So, what is going on is that, I feel like you probably know at this point, um, my dear, sweet, darling, spooky creature of a friend, Neva, from Manning Mama Musings, and myself, exchange scrap balls and goodies, tricks and treats. So, we are making a blanket. There are a lot of ladies <laughs> that are joining in. Um, there are six of us total um, that are on YouTube that I know of. Lots and lots of our friends who watch us are joining in, and I think that is so very cool. Um, I will link everyone below, kind of like Kayla said yesterday, that way we don't have to go through the whole little spiel every time. If y'all want to join in, please do. We all have emails. You can email somebody. Facebook, Instagram, all those things. Okay, cool. So, takes the creepiness out of it, having to explain that every time. So, all will be linked in the magical description box down below. Okay, <laughs> I'm just really excited that all these ladies are joining in. It's so fun. Okay, so for the spooky outfit today, Miss Neva went all out yesterday and looked like a ghost, but made a shame a smidge, and so, <laughs> so we were talking about earlier, like, I need to bust out the makeup. I'm not a real big makeup person. I do have makeup, but I don't wear it a lot, but I wore my Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street, my spooky tree. This has been to a lot of really cool concerts. <laughs> um, and my funky earrings, these are skulls, and the creepy lady and her guitar pick. And then I put my hair, this is called, they call it a pineapple ponytail, <laughs> is what it's called. But I pulled these to the front so it kind of looks like, you know, tintri- like, I don't know, something spooky. Spiders, maybe, I don't know. So it added to the creep factor. So anywho, had to share the fit. Okay, so... <laughs> Today, my pretties, I shall share with you what I added to the blankets. <laughs> so this is the blanket so far. And I mentioned that it was wonky. It is still wonky. Um, everyone told me to leave it. I had, like, almost everyone told me to leave it. Um, and I had someone mention that, you know, count the stitches and all those things, and I realized I could do, you know, I'm probably going to the next row just do, I don't know, probably change it up a smidge, but it's wonky. But I'm not, not hating on it. <laughs> I feel like eventually it'll maybe work its way out, but maybe not. Anyway, this is it. Um, I really love the colors. It looks so cool. <laughs> And it does kind of add to the spooky factor that it's kind of like, you know, not right, because that would be kind of weird, so. Alright. Um, Miss Neva opened her stitch marker yesterday, so I wanted to show mine one more time. Hers is black, so. I think she liked it. I hope she liked it. <laughs> okay, so for today, this is number three. I've seen this one in there, obviously, since day one, whenever I opened this. I know what it is, and I'm so excited <laughs> to open this one. So, okay, she made me something else. So, the project bag she made me, she said was her first project bag. Pretty sure she made this too. How cute is that? A little pumpkin bag, and like the other one, it has super cute beads. <laughs> I love it. For my sweet, my sweet precious Neva. I was like mushing words in my brain. Okay, so everybody knows. Number three. I promise it's not an eight. It's a three. <laughs> Alright. Let's see, shall we? 
Oh, it's so cute. I love this little bag. <laughs> if these are your first ones, high five. A few states over high fives because, wow. Oh, look how cute. <laughs> I mean, that's adorable. I love it. I love it so much. Eek, squeal. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, so the skull bowl that I show, it's in the living room because I've been using it, like I mentioned, um, but the yarn bowl, it's a candy bowl, but the yarn bowl that I've been using this whole time. Um, said Neva shared a picture with me that had a skull bowl and another one in it, and I knew that I needed to go and check them out, and so we went to Walmart and they only had the skull bowl, and I told her that they didn't have the other one, and she told me not to get it because she is amazing. That's why. Check it out. Is that not the coolest thing ever? So yeah, they have these marked as candy bowls. It says since 1692, which is brew, brewed with only the finest all natural ingredients in the grand tradition of Salem's finest witches. Oh, I love it. That's so cool. So yes, yarn bowl number two. Okay, so our color for today. Ooh, nice. Very nice. The color for today is black. I love it. Oh, that's the back. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, I love it already. So very into this blanket already. All right, so I'm gonna put these in my super cool cauldron because that's what's up. I love that so very much. Maybe I'll trade out. I'm gonna have other Halloween projects, but this one has handles, you know, that's neat. Okay, so I'm gonna set it right here because I, I was gonna set it behind me, but let's not break it, we say. Okay, so this is the bag. I love it so very much. <laughs> So cute. So cute. Okay. So, that is what we shall add. Black to our spooky blanket. Um, <clears throat> like I said, the spider web, third day mentioning it, but why not? One more time. Um, the spider web is, there are little fuzzies from the, <laughs> my blanket, sorry. Um, but yeah, the spider web is, there's a tutorial for it. Um, it will be linked below. Also, Kayla made her own thing because she's, you know, cool like that. And so, like, everyone kind of did their own thing, which I think is amazing. Like, er that's just, it's the bee's knees. I feel like that's so cool that everybody just did, like, whatever they wanted because we should, you know? And so, everyone's looks different. Like I said, Kayla just kind of made her own deal, so her pattern is also linked below. So, in case she would like to check it out. Okay, on to the project for today. Um, I mentioned to y'all before that my BFF Madonna sent me something the other day. Um, there's happy mail for that. I will possibly link that below if I remember. And this thing, if I remember. I hope I do. <laughs> Fingers crossed y'all. <laughs> Alright, cool. Um, this is a pattern by Alt Knots. I just changed the colors. It's for Friday the 13th card cardigan, if you guys want to check that out. So, okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> so, Anyway, my BFF Madonna sent me a present from Billy, the Crafty Floridian. Um, and I love it so very much. Um, I've mentioned the other day, whenever I, I think I had this on actually, whenever I like had to do the impromptu interruption in the video. Um, she has the name and she has clothes. So her name is Sally. It's like, Nightmare Before Christmas because we kind of think she looks a smidge like Sally even though she has gnomes and this shawl is her outfit. So she has a spooky dress. I was going to make her a witch's hat but then I didn't want to mess her hair up and my daughter and I talked about making her super cool combat boots to go with all of her upcoming outfits <laughs> so that may happen too but I didn't have a pattern. I chained I think 18 either 15 or 18 
and then just double crocheted back and forth and then like on the fifth row I started doing decreases I like decreased in the fifth and then in the fourth third second one and then just went up and then chained and then did the same thing and then I didn't even stitch them together I just tied them because I thought that just kind of looked cute and then that way I can untie it and maybe not have to pull it off even though I can pull it on and off over a little head but anyway and then this is one of the buttons that I got from Amazon the little Amazon package with the Halloween buttons that's one and so my daughter helped me with this and we picked it out and then that way it looks like her words it looks like a spooky poodle skirt so that's what we're going for it's her poodle skirt even though it's a white cat <laughs> so Miss Sally and her fit so yes that is our project for today that way I can display her finally because she's too cute so okay I'm gonna lay her on my super cool bag all right <clears throat> so let's see there's that um I mentioned yesterday we're gonna uh, every day we're going to have a movie and a song um I am going to Neva is doing a really cool thing I feel like it's like either cup of the day or well she's doing cup and sock of the day which I feel like is just fun so we're gonna count this as my cup of the day because I don't have enough socks and cups to go around so cup of the day you've seen it before I'm pretty sure if you've been on here at all but anywho so yes yesterday was nightmare before Christmas and the oogie boogie song today we're going to watch Paranorman. It's a classic around here. Just saying we all like that one a whole lot. Um, all of these movies, obviously, we're probably going to like. You know, I don't know why I keep mentioning that. It's like we're going to put movies in that we don't like. So, all right. Paranorman. Um, it is on Netflix. And the song of the day, if you watched yesterday, I feel like you already know this because the shirt. The song of the day is Time Warp. I don't know if I even said that right. The song of the day is Time Warp from Rocky Horror Picture Show, which is one of my very, very favorite movies. And we'll probably end up watching it today too, just side note, but anyway, love Tim Curry. Like the special, special spot in my heart for Tim Curry. So yes, <clears throat> Tim Curry will be in this a few times, <laughs> just so you know. All right. Um, but yeah, I wrote out all of, I just want to show you guys this because it's just another creepy thing. And just very quickly, I'll show you and then I'll move on. All right. But I wrote out all of our plans for the month. Don't want you reading them because that's spoiler alerts, you know, but they're all in my Beetlejuice planner. So it's all creepy all the time. So this is what the pages look like. I mean, do like weekly planning, but whoop, all my good stuff's in here, all my notes and all my bingos and bangs. But yes, anyway, so if we're creepy all the way around here, um, because that's how we roll. So okay, so Paranorman, I all of this info is in the description box, also like our movie and our song, just in case, just in case y'all are you know concerned or whatever about it. But yes, <laughs> Paranorman time warp because it's astounding. Time is fleeting. Madness. You know? It's all I'm missing. I know the whole entire song and the dance, but that's all I'm gonna sing. Madness dot dot dot. Listen closely. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> yes. But today, out of my super cool cauldron, I shall add black to our super cool blanket. That is wonky, but I'm well, I'm like embracing the wonkiness, like also embr embracing the spookiness because I feel like it makes it spooky. So I'm gonna go for it. See, it kind of just looks spooky. It's kind of fun. So never made this wonky of a blanket. I'm just gonna roll the dice and see how it goes. Like oogie boogie about it and roll the dice. All right, cool. So that's it. So I thank you guys so very much for watching Crochet Tober day three are super creepy events. I will link, I said everyone for the 19th time this video, <laughs> link everything below, all the other super hip ladies that are joining in on the fun. 
And like I said, thank you all of my friends who are joining in on the fun. I'm having you a blast and it's only the third day. So, all right. I hope you all have a spooktacular day. And I don't know, I need to come up with a good creepy outro. I just want to say stay safe, have a blessed day, because I want y'all to. Um, <clears throat> let's see. <laughs> we have, yes, a very spooktacular day. And um, hey, stay out of the woods. All right. <laughs> Talk to you guys soon.